This month sucked. We made some pretty bad financial choices this month, went over budget, and pretty much got kicked in the teeth for some financial decisions that we made several years ago. So today we're going to go over the budget line by line and you can judge. Spoiler alert, it sucked a lot. In the utilities category, we spent $210.40 on our cell phone and $270 in our storage unit. And if you don't know why we have a storage unit, I sky click. In our transportation category, we spent $149.36 on gas and $70 on the Easy Pass. And the $149.76 on gas was because Mauricio is driving our gas guzzling vehicle again. And it sucks down gas like nobody's business. But, you know, it, it, it's a paid for vehicle, so we just deal with it. In the Molina category, we spent $13.37 for ponytail holders and this like wax-based spray that really does a fantastic job holding Melina's hair back. Melina's hair doesn't doesn't stay in ponytails real well. And you've seen a million videos when she comes home from school or camp or whatever, her hair is like all in her face. It just doesn't stay well in rubber bands. And so I buy the disposable rubber bands and I put them in her hair really tight and then cut them out with scissors every night so it's less damaging to her hair. And the rubber bands I got for her are actually for like those wrist bracelets that you make. They're not very expensive, but they come in several hundred packs. And the ones I got are color changing and they change from clear to pink or purple. And they're super cute. I really like them. And then the spray is just like a spray wax and it doesn't, you know, it washes out with shampoo and it holds her hair back really, really well. And you can't, if you touch her hair, it feels like it's got like a waxy texture to it, but it doesn't seem to build up in her hair. So I really like it so far. In the insurance and tax category, we paid $176.58 for USAA insurance. We paid $91.65 for USAA life insurance. We paid $12 for CMFG insurance and $35.83 for Mauricio's life insurance. And our cash category, I did a couple of videos on that. One about being over budget with the cash envelope like two weeks in. We kind of ate out of the freezer for the next two weeks, which you know, is great. So we didn't spend a whole lot for the last two weeks, but it tells us it can be done. We can do it and get the fruit. Well, that and my parents made a big Costco run and they got a bunch of fruit from Costco, which lasts for forever. In our reoccurring and annual expenses category, we spent $38.95 on iTunes. We did rent a movie for Melina and that's the difference of the, the $5.99. So that's why this category is $5.99 more. I spent $44.95 on Weight Watchers, $14.95 on Audible. We did not have any Skype expenses, and we spent $3.99 on Amazon Music. In my YouTube category, I had several things go wrong with my tech that I had to take care of. So we had our standard expenses of $4.50 for TubeBuddy, $5 for Black Backblaze, $13 for Morning Fame, and $19.95 for a YouTube group I belong to. But this month, I also had to buy a micro card adapter pack of five. I went ahead and bought the pack of five, so when this happens in the future, I'll always have one on hand. 
and you know it's five so they're less than a dollar a piece for the micro sd card adapter and then i needed to buy more screen cleaner which i use for my iphone and my computer and that is 16.95 and i love this stuff it's called screen mom it's a green cleaner so it's great for cleaning electronics it's made specifically for electronics i really 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 like this i've been buying it for years and it lasts a really long time i think i bought the last bottle i have one bottle at home one bottle at work and the bottle at home usually cleans my cell phone and my um, computer and Mauricia's computer and then Melina has one of our old computers as well and her iPad. So we use it a lot at home and I think I bought it like a year ago. I hate, hate, hate having fingerprints on my computer and I actually clean my phone almost every day. Not even joking. And then I got a micro SD card adapter. It's a plug into the computer. So I have two options for my micro SD card, my microphone here, I'll show you. There's a little, hopefully you'll be able to hear me, but, um, so there's a little micro SD card in here and I use that for my microphone and, um, I just plug it directly into my computer now. And then also for have the adapter for that as well. So that was $15.99. In the medical category, that $17.50 did not come through yet. When I'm filming this video, it has not come through. So I don't expect it to come through till August. So I'm going to go ahead and roll that into the next month's budget. And in work expenses, we had $33 for parking for Mauricio. So he did pretty well at finding a spot for free every day only three days did he have to pay for parking in the sinking fund categories we had 150 dollars go to medical expenses 100 dollars go to car repair and replace 100 dollars go to christmas 100 dollars go to the emergency trip to columbia $50 going to Molina Miscellaneous School Expenses $200 going to Next Summer Summer Camp and $1,000 going to our trip to Columbia in December. And in the beginning of our debauchery online, we spent $40.70 on pool floats. I know, this was just pure debauchery. We wanted to get some pool floats for Melina for the pool, and so we did. One budgeted. But we always budget $100 for Amazon, and we did not spend the full $100. So that's a bonus, right? But don't worry, we spent it in other ways. And then I spent $19.98 on Chick-fil-A day supplies. What? I know, I spent money so I could get free food. <laughs> we have a group of people we go out with for Chick-fil-A day every year, and I wanted some fun stuff. So I got these awesome cow socks, we got two um, two, cow, two sets of cow ears, and one of them was a kid that came with a bow tie and a tail. So Melina wore the ears and the tail, Mauricio wore the bow tie, and I wore the socks and the ears, and Mauricio would not let me take a picture of him. But we did um, go to Chick-fil-A Day. We spent, yeah, I think with everything we bought, it ended up being like $6 or something like that in the end for Mauricio, Melina, and I. Because afterwards, we went over to Best Buy while our friends left because we had promised Melina ice cream and the other parents did not want to get the kids ice cream. So we let those kids leave. We walked over to Best Buy, which was right nearby. And we hung out and played on the Apple products for like 20 minutes. And then once everybody cleared out, we took Melina back over and got her some ice cream. Oh so yeah, all in all, including the ice cream, obviously, because that wasn't included in Chick-fil-A day. Um, six bucks, I think, six or seven total dollars. It was pretty nice. I know, buying supplies to get free food. We just, I'm a go big or go home kind of girl. And my mother was like, seriously, you spent money to get free food. I get it. But hey, we have this stuff for next year. I will tell you, Mauricio was a little embarrassed to go to Best Buy with Melina and I. But Melina and I had a blast. We don't care if people look at us funny. 
Plus, everybody knew it was Chick-fil-A day. So, you know, hey, dress like a cow and you get free food. And then came the real debauchery. So we did spend twenty five forty one at Giant because Giant is our local grocery store because we overspent on the grocery money very early on. And I did have to run to Giant. We spent fifty one eleven for Fourth of July fireworks. We were gonna go somewhere for the Fourth of July, but we ended up deciding to stay home and have fireworks in the backyard. So we did spend fifty one eleven for Fourth of July fireworks and did it with my parents and it was super fun. We had a good time. We had pizza at this pool one day and that was thirty dollars and fifty one cents. We got Melina a happy meal because I'm a sucker when she's like, "Mommy, can I have a happy meal?" I'm like, "All right." So one day I did have a smoothie at Tropical Smoothie for six dollars and three cents. I know. I used to complain about Mauricio's gold-filled smoothies. Don't know if you remember that, but I did. Used to complain all the time about the gold-filled smoothies. Like, who pays that for a smoothie? And I go out and pay that. But in the summertime, they have the watermelon mojito smoothie, and it's like to die for, and I got one. So, Mauricio got Starbucks for $3.66 one day. And then one day... While my parents were out of town, I didn't feel like cooking. So, yeah, we did Taco Bell. At least we didn't do a full-on, like, nice restaurant because we were able to get dinner for thirty-one twenty-eight. That's That's a rarity in this area. Then Mauricio and I, after we put Melina to bed one night, we decided to have date night. So we did a movie on um, Netflix and... We ordered DoorDash from one of our local sushi restaurants, which was amazing, but it is super expensive. And the the sushi restaurant itself is just redonkulously expensive. So that was $82.22. And truth be told, all the restaurants that deliver in our area, with the exception of pizza, are pretty much crazy expensive. So we don't do it very often, but it was true debauchery, I know. And then we had $68 at the Juanes concert, which was super fun, but we bought two margaritas, two beers, and two bottles of water for $68. I know, it's crazy, crazy, crazy that they can gouge you like that at concerts, but you know, when it's like sweltering hot and you want something to drink and you're not allowed to bring drinks in, you're suckered into buying them. Trust me, we debated about trying to smuggle something in. But we're nice, honest people that follow the rules. Mauricio had to get some blood work done. And after that, he went to Starbucks and spent $5.25. Mauricio gets headaches when he doesn't have coffee in the morning. So, you know, it was one of those fasting blood sugar things. And he was grumpy. I talked to him on the phone. He was like, grumble, grumble. So he got some coffee, felt better. And then this month, we put $6,684.78 to debt. So even though there was a lot of debauchery, we still put our regular six to $7,000 a month to debt. But that is because for us, when we go over budget, we pull from next month's budget. So you will see a great decrease in next month's budget debt pay payment. And if you want to check that out, I posted it on Monday. So, yeah. So, I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.